Zoho People Tutorial. Hello and welcome to our channel. On this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Zoho People. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. And to create an account, you could also use my affiliate link below the description where I earn a small commission at no additional cost to you. And by using the link, you may also get some discount or rewards upon sign up. But before that, if you don't know what is Zoho People, it is a comprehensive cloud-based human resource management system designed to streamline HR processes and enhance employee engagement for businesses of all sizes, in which the platform also offers a wide array of features including employee self-service, lead management, attendance tracking, performance appraisal management, and HR processing automation, in which all of it are accessible from a centralized interface. With its intuitive design, Zoho People allows HR teams to manage employee data efficiently while providing employees with tools to manage their own profiles and requests. And now to create an account on Zoho People, you could also click the link in the description or alternatively, you could also click the Get Started button on the top right corner. And upon clicking the Sign In or Get Started, you will be directed in this page. And from here, just click this button and take a 30-day free trial. Then you will be directed on this page. And in this pop-up window, just simply enter or fill out the required information, including the company name, your portal name, select the industry you're in, and also your phone number in here. And just click the Save button to proceed. And after that, just proceed by clicking this Get Started button, and you will now be able to be directed on this dashboard of people.soho.com. And under this organization setup, you could also fill out the required information in here to proceed and managing your account in here. But going back on this page, aside from that, under this services, you'll be able to see all of the services that it offer. While on the left side panel, you'll be able to see some other options that we can navigate. We have your home, onboarding, leave tracker attendance, operations, and many more. And now let's start by navigating this onboarding option by clicking on it. You'll be able to be directed in this page where it will show you the flow that you could also enter the portal name in here, the preferences that you could also navigate, and it will help you to allow administrators to mark onboarding as completed, tentative date of joining the preferences, and many more. And aside from that, you could also navigate here the other services. For instance, this employee information by clicking on it, it will show you in here all of the information or details, including employee ID, employee status, career history, while on the top panel, it will show you some other options such as the HR process, extend service, automation, and access control. So basically, the purpose of this option is to evolve around managing employee and data facilitating HR processes effectively, in which as you can see in here, it will allow organization to categorize and customize employee statuses such as active or inactive. You also have your automation that we can set up or add a workflow if you want to by clicking the button on the top right corner to proceed and just fill out this required information or details such as the basic details trigger events, criteria, and actions in here. Then click the Add button below here to start adding the workflow. And also on the top panel, you could also navigate this access control to see the record permissions such as the director, manager, team in charge, that you could also edit their permission. Now going back on this page, aside from info information, we could also navigate here this leave tracker in which it serves as a comprehensive tool for managing employee leave requests and policies effectively. And the primary purpose of this is to streamline the process of recording, tracking, and approving various types of employee leave, thereby reducing administrative workload and enhancing organizational efficiency. It will show in here all of the leave policy, the compensation of, which entitled that the employee can take a regular working day as compensation for working on a holiday. And you could also navigate here some of the restriction, entitlement, expiry chain date, and many more. So you can basically customize on this part. You could also navigate this work calendar. You can add your work calendar in here. And on this slide window, you simply enter here the applicable location of the work. The week starts definition in here, let's say Monday until Sunday or Saturday in here. And just simply enter here the define week that you could also select on this page, depending on your preferences. And just click the save button to proceed. You could also navigate this pay period, the reports, and additional options in here that you could also navigate. But overall, this lead tracker allows HR managers to define multiple custom lead types such as sick leave, annual leave, and maternity leave tailored to specific needs of their organizations. Now aside from that, going back on this page of the services, aside from lead tracker, we could also navigate here, this attendance by clicking on it. It serves as a vital component for managing employee time and attendance efficiently. 
in which this feature allows organization to track and employ attendance accurately through a user-friendly interface. Feature configuration, extend services, approvals, automation, and permissions option on the top panel that we could also start navigating and customize. Now moving on aside from attendance, we could also navigate the ship's services in here by clicking on it. It will show in here that it serves as a robust tool for managing employee schedules effectively and efficiently. So you can navigate here to ship mapping permission, manage ships, and click add ship in here if you want to by clicking the button in here. We also have here the ship patterns that you can navigate. Now on the top panel, we have here approvals and automations. You can navigate here the workflows, actions, and templates on this page. Now aside from those services in here, we could also navigate this time tracker by clicking on it in which it serves as a crucial purpose in managing employee productivity and project management by allowing organization to accurately log and monitor the time spent on various tasks and projects. So you should see here the user's specific operations, jobs, projects, and timesheets. And from here to add a job, just click the search bar, or you could also click create view in here if you want to, and start filling out the required information such as the specific view name, permission and also select the column in here and even the criteria of it but going back on this page aside from that to add a job just click this add job and just simply fill out the required information including the job name project start date and the end date number of hours and the assignees or the members of user in here that you want to assign to specific job for instance as you can see i'm going to enter here the project which is cashier and the job name of it is clerk and after filling out the required information, just click the submit button to proceed. So for instance, I'm going to enter under this project name cashier and click the submit button. And as you can see, it is now currently recorded. And now under assigning section, from here you can even add the number of hours required and the rate per hour in here. For example, I'm going to enter $15. Well, for this hours or number of hours in here, I'm going to enter at least 10 hours. And after filling out the required information, just click the submit button to proceed and now from here it will show you that it is now currently added successfully so basically this feature enables employees to record their working hours through different methods including manual entry timers or by specifying start and end times for their task now you could also create here a timesheet if you want to moving on on the left side panel aside from that we can navigate here some other options including this performance in which it will show us all of the review methods the skill set competency that we could also follow in order to monitor the performance of each employee in our organization or our company. So basically, this feature enhanced the employee performance and engagement through its structured and comprehensive approach. So you can navigate here the configuration, the extend service, approvals, automation, and permission as well. Well, at the left side panel of it, we could also navigate these goals, feedback, skill set, competency, salary appraisal templates and appraisal review in here and now as you can see aside from performance option we could also navigate some other options in here on the left side panel including this onboarding option in which it serves as a critical purpose in facilitating smooth transition for new hires into an organization you could also read again the leave tracker attendance and by clicking this more it will show you some other services that Zoho people offer but overall that is just basically how you can use Zoho people Thank you.